Hey guys, so welcome aboard. Thought I'd do a quick review here of the Amazon Fire HD8. $79 on Amazon. If you're interested in this, just go ahead and click on the link in my description there. It's the Amazon link. It'll take you right to Amazon. You can take a look at it. There's a couple different uh, models here, but uh, let's just go over this little eight inch uh, tablet. Um, I really like it, um, and especially for the price, it's pretty good. I mean, 79 bucks, you know, plus taxes, everything. You probably get it for like, you know, 90 bucks or something and all said and done. Um, now, one thing to note that the $79 price does come with a little bit of advertising. If you pay an extra $15, and again, when you go to the link down there uh, to Amazon, you can select um, with special offers or without. And what that does is on the splash screen right here, when you first turn it on, Amazon puts a little bit of advertisement on here. It's only on the splash screen and you know the screen is locked here so I go ahead and unlock it. That's it, that's the only time you'll see that. That saves you that like 15-ish bucks or something like that. If you wanna pay an extra 15 bucks not to have that, go for it. Um, doesn't really bother me, uh, not a big deal. And you know, maybe I'll find something I like on the splash screen anyway and buy it, so what the heck. So as you can see, uh, it's got a nice eight inch screen. You know, I'm not gonna go through all the details. You can look at it at, at the link there on Amazon. Um, it's, uh, you know, an HD uh, screen. So it's uh, 1280 by 800. Uh, indoors, it looks pretty good. Um, you know, there's not a lot of glare. I have actually got it turned down a little. Let me, let me turn up the, the brightness on there and you can see uh, perfectly fine to see on indoors uh, when you take it outside just like with any other tablet you know you're gonna get a little bit of washing and it's a little bit harder to see not too bad though um, you know it's just doable um, one other thing to note because it is Amazon Amazon and Google don't get along too good so they're always you know poking each other in the eye um, so the tablet does not come with a lot of the things that you may be familiar with with uh, Google, like, you know, Gmail, uh, the Play Store, um, some of those things. So if you live in the Google ecosystem there and you have stuff like, you know, your photos and stuff like that, um, there's a couple little things you got to do. And again, I'll, I'll put another link in the description. There's many videos uh, describing and, you know, stepping you step by step how to get all of your Google stuff loaded onto here. Uh, it basically just uh, involves installing the Google services. There's like four files that you have to go out and install. Many people have posted those files out in the uh, on the web there and you can just get them by following the instructions. But uh, otherwise you can see I've got all my Google stuff here. I've got my Play Store. We'll let that come up. You can see how fast it comes up here. Uh, works perfectly fine and I can download and load everything that's in the Google Play Store along with what's in the uh, actual Amazon apps. Now I kind of moved all my Amazon apps over to its own little window here, but you can see there's the Silk browser is the Amazon browser in there, right? And then you've got all your other stuff, you know, Kindle and uh, Audible, you know, all, all of the stuff that's, uh, that's all part of Amazon. Uh, Otherwise, uh, you know, just kind of looking at this thing, it's it's nice and lightweight. I think it's a good size for sort of like a, you know, a little indoor tablet. You know, you don't want to sit there with a laptop or something. You can uh, watch movies on it. You know, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just start up a movie here. I'll go to Google Play, which I have a couple of movies on there. We'll let that load up and actually we'll just go to my library. I don't know, we'll pick a movie here. Whatever, uh, how about this one? Sure. We'll go ahead and play that. Now it does have two speakers. Let me go ahead and pause right there. It does have two Dolby speakers down at the bottom. I do have it turned up all the way. It seems to be loud enough. You know, if you're listening with headphones, you're good to go. If you're not, um, even in sort of, uh, you know, a noisier room, you know, you've got some family in a room or something like that, you can still hear the, the volume is very good. Um, there's no need to, you know, turn it up louder than you'd have to. And you can see this movie plays perfectly fine. We can jump around here. Good stuff there. All right, I love that movie. Anyway, um, I, I, I'm gonna recommend this because of the price point itself. So if you want a cheap tablet, you know, you don't wanna pay, you know, tablets used to be, and they still are, some of them, hundreds of hundreds of dollars. Um, but listen, for under a hundred bucks, you know, you can have a nice tablet, you know, read your books, do a little web browsing here. You know, I've got Chrome installed here. Let's take a look. 
you can see it popping up. Uh, I don't know. Let's just let's take a look at the weather here. You can see that fires up really quick. It is on my uh, you know Wi-Fi here. Do all of your browsing, uh, and you can also do that again with the uh, the Amazon Silk browser if you're not into that. Here's the Amazon Silk browser, and you can see I've got a couple of things in here. This is actually some of the files that were downloaded for uh, Google to get all the Google services. So let me just go over here. Here we go. Local news, blah, 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 you know, all this good stuff. Uh, decent browser, but you know, whatever. I like using Chrome. Uh, so uh, to top it off, I guess, here's the backside here, Amazon. Uh, it's easy to hold. It's easy to kind of like if you got in your lap here, you know, you can easily go through, uh, you know, it's, it's, you don't get tired holding the thing here. Now, the the system on here, it is Android, um, but, uh, you know, it's got uh, Amazon's sort of uh, flair on it or take on it. And, and, and so it is kind of geared towards Amazon. Your home page here, which is where you kind of start out, is where you have all your programs installed and whatnot. If you go over one side, it gives you a little detailed stuff. Now, I'm not in Seattle, Washington, but I don't have my location services on. It gives you the weather, it gives you some of your recent files, you know, a couple other things. Move over here in the home screen. Uh, you can go over to your books, you know, uh, shop on Amazon, buy all your stuff right here. If you buy videos from Amazon or you just want to watch something, it's right there. Uh, games, download all your games and whatnot. Again, shopping here uh, takes you, it's got a little shop thing. So based on your browsing and whatever, you know, whatever you have, it, it'll put stuff up there for you. Uh, apps, again, it'll show you, you know, uh, it's kind of like the Amazon app store. Um, you know, download some games, do whatever you want. Music, you can get your uh, Amazon music on here. Audible, so you get your Audible uh, books and whatnot. And the newsstand, you know, get some uh, magazines and whatnot. Hit the button down here, you're back to your uh, home screen. Uh, so I do like this thing. Like I said, uh, for the price, you cannot beat, you know, under $100 and you get a nice size tablet for, you know, checking your email, cruising the web, uh, you know, listening to some music maybe or, or uh, you know, just watching a movie while you're traveling or something like that on an airplane. Uh, very nice. The battery life supposedly is somewhere between four and six hours, depending on how much stuff you're doing and, uh, you know, the brightness you have on the screen. So, you know, you turn it down a little bit, you'll save a, you know, save a half an hour, or an hour right there. And it's still bright enough right there. I keep it about 75 percent. So, like I said, if you like this thing, uh, you're interested in it, go ahead, hit the uh, Amazon link down at the description of the video um, and take a look on there. Thanks again, guys. Till next time. Bye.